Hello everyone, this is Kaiba. The USA has US Army base in Japan, Korea, Poland, Germany, etc. Thousands of American people are living in those bases. China has Chinese Army base in the Philippines, Indonesia, Canada, USA, Malaysia, etc. All over the world. And hundreds and thousands of Chinese people are living in the base. I say it again. At least a million of people are residing in the Chinese camp, living along with Chinese school, Chinese culture, and Chinese language. The USA builds US Army base in many countries and exercise influence on that country. China builds Chinatown throughout the world and moves that country. Chinatown's economic power is gaining the control of that country's economy, media, politics, and culture. Most of the Chinese living abroad have dual nationality. They are bilingual. In the past, overseas Chinese didn't reveal that they come from mainland China. They said that their hometown is Taiwan. But now, with high confidence, they disclose that they are Chinese mainlanders. Because China is controlling the world next to the USA. So they do the business with mainland China and they take pride in being Chinese mainlanders. Even if you don't want to admit it, we'll do the fact check that at present, China has taken over the world. To be more specific, let's look on to the basis of China, which conquered the world. In Indonesia, there are about 13 million overseas Chinese. They are dominating 90% of Indonesia's economy. In 1998, there was a frightening overseas Chinese incident. I want you to check it out in the web personally. Because of this incident, overseas Chinese in Indonesia try not to stand in the front. Indonesia's media and economy are occupied by overseas Chinese. In Thailand, there are 14 million overseas Chinese. Media tycoon Taksin, a Chinese. The Prime Minister Ingna Chingnawat is a overseas Chinese. Thailand will also completely be under the umbrella of China. The Philippines is also occupied by China. In the Philippines, there are about 3 million overseas Chinese. They are dominating 70% of Philippines' economy. If you travel Cebu, try to visit the place called the Beverly Hills of Cebu. There are high-class houses like the Beverly Hills of America, and most of them are owned by Chinese. If you travel the Philippines, ask who owns the hotel. You will be told that it is Chinese. Duterte, the current president of the Philippines, his grandparents are all overseas Chinese. Of course, Duterte became the president by the help of the Chinese who has dominated the media of the Philippines. The reason why the Philippines is putting much importance in China than the USA is also that the media led the public opinion. The media, which is operated by the overseas Chinese capital, Canada, there are 1.4 million overseas Chinese. The people who made the house price explode are the overseas Chinese in Canada. Singapore does the military training together with the United States. Is Singapore friendly with the USA or is it close to China? This is a fact check. 70% of Singaporeans are overseas Chinese. Singapore is a satellite country of China. Singapore is friendly with China rather than the USA. Lee Kuan Yew's grandparents are also overseas Chinese. 80% of listed companies are overseas Chinese. How about the status of Malaysia? 
25% are overseas Chinese. Malaysians do the politics and the overseas Chinese do the economy. There are millions of overseas Chinese in Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, etc. In the whole world, there is no place without Chinatown. China has already conquered the world. Military conquest is not a conquest. Financial conquest is the true conquest. China already has financially dominated the world. In Asia, there are two countries that are not conquered by China's economic power, Korea and Japan. Korea's president Park jong hee had a fear that if the economic power and the influence of the overseas Chinese become stronger, Korea will be conquered by China. So he made no overseas Chinese run big business in Korea. So in the past, the overseas Chinese in Korea covered the fact that they are overseas Chinese. However, at this point, Chinese people open their identity. Actress Chun ji hyun is an overseas Chinese. Of course, Japan made war with China during the Second World War and conquered for 13 years. So the overseas Chinese in Japan are powerless. There's a saying that if that place is within the reach of seawater, overseas Chinese are there. Overseas Chinese have strong power of unity. They preserve Chinese culture. If China grows strong, overseas Chinese are connected to China. And if China becomes weak, they permeate into that country. U.S. Army base can be closed. However, Chinatown isn't closed. Overseas U.S. Army base is under the lead of mainland United States. Chinatown is self-operated. However, it is secretly connected to mainland China. It is influenced by China and they construct partnership with Chinese mainlanders and they get married to each other. It has organic connection with mainland China. You cannot visit the U.S. Army base. However, you can visit Chinatown. If you have time, try to visit Chinatown and experience various culture and improve your intellectual level. I am not anti-China. I am an analyst who only checks the facts. And through the analysis, I predict the future through my head, heart, and soul. I only hope that the whole world, including China, stay in peace. The USA exerts influence in each country by the military base, which is made public. However, China has financially conquered each country by Chinatown. Of course, it dominated the media of each country. The USA dominated the sea by the aircraft carrier. However, China has dominated the land by overseas Chinese. This was Kaiva and see you in the next video.